Hi, I'd like to welcome you to a first in a series of um, videos that are going to try to give you a little insight into real estate investing. Maybe you're brand new or maybe you've been doing it for a while. I hope these videos will help you. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Gary DuBose. I come from uh, Kapolei, Hawaii. And uh, of course, I live in one of the most beautiful states uh, in the Union. Um, and we love living out there. But we do real estate by buying and selling houses all across the United States. Uh, we've been doing it for about 27 years. I did my first flip when I was 23 years old in Lake St. Louis, Missouri. Any of you from Missouri area, you probably know that area. And uh, I made so much money on my first flip, I could not believe the cash flow that came from that. So because of that, I, I immediately jumped into the real estate game and have been doing real estate now for years. And then I changed how I did the real estate. From Instead of using bank money and going and borrowing the money, what we did is we traded around and started using other people's money and working with them and working with investors. And in this series of videos, we'll get to that on how to find the money, usually the number one thing that people need. But my wife and I spoke across America about real estate. And when we would be on stage and we'd meet other people, it was so sad to hear them tell the story. They found this great deal, but they couldn't do it because they didn't have the money. We went out and started raising capital to make sure we had enough money to do our deals. The problem was, is I was way better at raising capital than I thought I was. And uh, we were doing so good on so many of the houses that we had the ability to set up quite a bit of money in capital. And I found myself having the money but not having the deals. And so I'm looking for folks that can find the deals. And I'm hoping that these videos, this video series will help you where you're able to look for and find those deals. Um, we've been uh, excited about uh, people coming in and learning and seeing some of our, our uh, YouTube videos and all of our trainings. We'd love to have you uh, take a look at, at, at what we have today and see if it helps you further your investment career um, in these videos. I am going to give some stuff and some information I do think you ought to try to take down. I'm not just going to give you, as some people do, just fluff. I'm going to try to give you the real thing, and hopefully this helps, this helps your real estate future uh, as you go forward. I'm not going to cut the video. I want you to see me live. Um, I do make mistakes. I do say things wrong. I may back up, but I want you and I to become real people. I'm just an average guy like anybody else in America that has found a good way to do real estate, and I'd like you to do it with me. So if I make a mistake or I say the wrong thing and I correct myself, remember a couple things. I'm originally from Arkansas, and I speak a lot of Arkansas ease. I've made that word up. And uh, I would like you to, to just sit back, relax, learn the things, the concepts from my mistakes and things that I went through and see if we can hopefully, uh, hopefully help each other and I can help you with your real estate future. We want to talk about, uh, in this series, we're going to talk about how to find the money. We're going to talk about... Um, what areas and places to look for the deals. But today, we just want to talk about what is a deal? What is a real estate deal? There's so many people out there that think they have great deals and don't know where that deal is headed or what that deal is going to do or how that deal can affect them or affect their families. So I just want to give you some things on what is a deal in real estate. Of course, we don't use uh, uh, bank money. We don't borrow bank money. We use individual capital to go out and buy houses for cash. So it does give us a major buying power of those people that are on my team of buying the cash houses and making that work. But we're looking for certain deals. First, let's talk about the realtor. You're going to have to go out and find. You, you cannot um, build a business um, in real estate as well without a realtor. I think everybody should use a realtor. Sometimes I'm harsh on realtors. Sometimes I come across as a little rough on realtors. Um, but I want you to know I use a realtor for almost every single deal that we do. Uh, I'm a firm believer in it. I think that it it is important to have someone on your side that works with you and for you. And uh, I do feel that you should use a realtor. Uh, they'll have a certain classification all across America. My wife is a principal broker of our company, Aloha Paradise Realty. And uh, she has re uh, realtors that work for her. That's what we're looking for. People who know the, 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 the uh, area, people who know the houses, and we can work with. But let's talk about the realtor and the deal. A realtor is used to selling somebody a house that they want or desire. People go out, they go to an open house, they walk out, they fall in love. Oh, this is the house for us. I love this house. And if you've not, if you've not seen a show on television, on HGTV, or one of these shows where um, that's exactly what they do. They sell them on the hype or the excitement of the house. Um, I want to know, does the house make me any money? That's all I care about. Does the house make me any money? When I walk into a house, it may be the nastiest, dirtiest, worst smelling house you've ever seen in your life. To me, that smells like money. 
and that smells like profit and it looks like profit. When houses have holes in them and things in a wall and all kinds of troubles, to me that also looks like profit. I just have to put in my equation, what is it that will make that house be profitable for me? Now, let's talk about the realtor and their job. Their job is to find people homes. I think that's a great deal. But as an investor, the realtor's job is to try to find us the best deal possible. And so I like to work with one realtor in an area. I don't like to work with 10 or 20 realtors. I like to work with one realtor in the area and that realtor be the person um, that helps me every single uh, day find a property that comes on the market that we can make an offer on. Now, when I go to a realtor, there's some things that have to be classified or have to be explained. And I give them a clarification of exactly what I'm looking for inside my box when it comes to real estate. And hopefully that'll um, see, be something you pick up from these uh, separate videos. Um, but when we're looking for a deal, if a, if a realtor sells you a house that's worth $150,000 for $145,000, and then you're going to turn around and try to sell that house for a profit, when you pay the realtor the second time, the realtor is going to get all the money that you saved by buying at $5,000 under value. So we're going to have to look at some kind of value and see what is it, how much money can I save off of a house that will make me money. So let's say you save 10%. So $150,000 house, you save 10%, which is $15,000. You're now paying $135,000 for that house. When you do that, the first thing that comes off the top is the 6% for the realtor on average. And if you're selling the house to a realtor, which I believe you should, you're going to spend 6%. That only leaves 4% of profit, or on 100000 that's 4000 150000 that's $6,000. Now, if you have to do any work or put in any carpet or clean anything up, then the only person that would be making money in the deal at getting a house at 10% under value would be the realtor. Uh, so you're going to have to look for things in the equations that we use to try to find what is a deal. A deal is something that you can find 70, 60, 50 percent under value of what they are and or you have uh, an equation of where you do the house itself times approximately 70 percent of value. So let's say a hundred thousand dollar home would now be 70,000 minus repairs. And that's what you want to do. Some form that you've got to come up with that you can accept. Now, yours may be different than mine because I'm paying multiple people. Or yours may be different than mine because I have a different overhead. You've got to decide what that formula is for you that works. But you must make it lucrative enough to be in this business five years down the road or ten years down the road. In the past 23 years, I've seen a lot of people go under because they thought they had a deal when they really did not have a deal. A deal is something when you know you found a great house or a great property or a great commercial building at the right price. That's what you want. That perfect price that, is, that will set you in front of everybody else. When you turn around and put it back on the market, it will sell. Now, just because somebody lists something at a certain price does not mean that's the value. So somebody may have a home listed at 170000 but they're thinking, well, I'll list it at one seventy and I'll take one fifty. Then the real home value might be one hundred and fifty thousand. But for you, of course, that value is going to drop all the way down at the start of just one thirty-five. And then if it needs a bathroom, maybe one thirty. And if it needs a kitchen, then maybe one twenty. And you're going to go backwards from that and show them why you need to buy the house at that price. <clears throat> Another thing I think is important to learn about the deal is. You're going to do a lot better with REOs than you are when you um, work or invest with, you know, try to take uh, money and invest with people's houses that they live in. Here's why. How many Americans do you know can lose 30% on their house? Exactly. So because we don't have a lot of people that can lose 30%, we must go to the people who can lose 30, 20, 45, 50% on the dollar, and that would be the banks. They've gotten payments through the years. They've gotten money back. They take the house back, and then they bring it to you, or they bring it to me, and we buy it under value. Then we go in and fix that house up. The thing that makes it a deal is the numbers must work in your favor that when you walk away, you walk away with a check. Now, for some of you, that check may be $5,000. Some of you, that may be $10,000. You may set, I want at least this much. I've met investors that say that if I don't make $20,000 a house, then I'm not doing that deal. You have to decide what is that deal for you and what is that threshold that you're willing to cross that will make you the money that you need. Now, you may be in a tight market. All right, listen, we live in Hawaii. I don't know of a tighter market in Hawaii than there is to flip houses, and here's why. Our average days on market sometimes is 15 days on market. Can you imagine? 
15 days on market. That means that when it comes on the, on the MLS, within 15 days, it's snagged up and under contract. It's a whole lot tougher then for you to be able to get um, information or get the things you need. It's a lot tougher for you to get all the things that you uh, need to acquire or you need to do for that house to be successful. And so if you're going to be successful, uh, you're going to have to take those things off that cost you money. Maybe it's the driveway repair. Maybe it's changing the outside of the entry. Maybe it's changing a door. But everything that costs you money, you must take off the, the price of the house. And then you can figure out if that house is a deal, if it meets your threshold. For me, threshold is anywhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000 or higher. If I can make fifteen dollars to $20,000 or higher on a house, then that house is good for me. So I may not do a $30,000 house that would sell for $40,000 that would only make ten grand. But for that amount of money, ten grand is 25% on the money, so it's not bad. You've just got to be able to make sure what will make you the most profit, where you are, and how you'll do it. To do a, and this is important, to find a deal... Just because a house is a great deal, but it's not selling, and we'll talk about it in video two, because you find a great deal, but the houses in that area are not selling. Let's say you find a $700,000 home that's just stellar, and you can buy it right now for $450,000. The problem is, if in that market there's only one or two buyers for $700,000 homes, you may own that thing for years. So you want to make sure that you're buying in the right market and buying the right items. And so it's very important that you recognize the deal when you see it, but you see the deal all the way through. You don't just look at the building, oh, I love this house, this is awesome. Matter of fact, I suggest you never fall in love with the house. I make hundreds and hundreds of offers, and my team for me makes hundreds of offers, and we don't ever even look at the house until we have an accepted offer of just saying, this is our base offer, this is where we want to start. Um, because you waste a lot of time driving to the house, walking through the house, making a decision on the house. And I tend to like some properties more than other properties. So I might go look at five properties and say, well, I like number one and number two, but I don't like number three and number four and number five is okay. And now I'm judging them not by the dollar amount, but how I feel about the house. Here's the problem. I'm buying it right now, but I'm buying it to sell. So I must buy a house that will sell what makes a a, a real real estate deal is you find a $700,000 home for $450,000 where $700,000 homes are selling. And so the, the, the item that you're looking for is the profit. You must sit down and pin out in numbers with no personal feelings. Um, I used to have a farm down in Missouri and on that farm we had a huge rope swing. My father was always making rope swings for the kids. And we had this huge rope swing. And every time I find a house, it has a tree in the backyard, has a big uh, limb going off there. First thing I think is, man, what a great place for a rope swing. Now, there's other people that would walk into a house, and they would see a rope swing hanging from a tree, and they think, oh, man, that's a lawsuit. We've got to cut that down. So you're not buying something for you to find the deal. You want to buy something that will sell. You want to be in the right market that it will sell, and how to tell it's a deal. You need to walk through a house after you get an accepted contract and after you go through that, but too many people are wasting time on looking at the houses before you go to contract. Now, let me explain. Most houses, when you're finding a deal, they have uh, a clause that you get 10 days, maybe 15 days, 7 days for inspection. And I would use a licensed inspector to go in and tell you all the things that's wrong with the house. Now, two things happen. One you can take your inspection back to your realtor and let them notify the other realtor which there are deficiencies in the house. When they do that, that realtor is under obligation. If they know something, then they must clarify what they know. A realtor should always be honest, and they've signed an agreement as becoming a realtor that they will disclose everything. That, is, that, that should be disclosed. Now, anything that would hurt the house, they can't disclose what a seller would take for the house, but they should disclose that the house had a death in it, that the house was hit by a car, that the house had a shifting uh, foundation problem. If they know those items, they should list those things out when they find out about them. So the great thing about an inspection is it now makes the owner of the house liable for that inspection because they know what was going on if they sell the house from there on out. At that point, then they've got to determine, are we going to fix those problems or are we going to take money off the price of the house? And that's how you make your deal. 
is you go in, you make an offer, and you're ready to roll on that deal. There's multiple things that go along with this. That would be finding the right house in the right place. That'll be the next video. The third video will be, I think, uh, we're going to show you how to find the money that your retirement walks around you every day. And I think all of these, I think, will help you one by one if you just first learn how to look at it and say, is it a deal? We must get more than 6% because when we go to sell it, we're paying a realtor to sell it. If you try to sell a piece of property without a realtor, your the people that are going to find you are going to be very few because most people don't look in the paper, nor do they look at drive around and look for signs. People who are trying to buy houses go to a realtor and they look at the MLS and they see what this is for sale in the marketplace. It's the number one way to sell. I see a lot of people for sale by owner. If you're after that and you want to do that, I think that's great. But my number one buy that I do is through a realtor. And I find the deals that are 5% above or 10% above what I've got to pay out so that I know that I'm safe with the money that I'm buying. And so um, you want to make sure that you're getting enough cash or enough money out of the deal to pay yourself, to pay the bank if you borrowed the money, or pay the investor if you had an investor back you, and then go forward from the deal. Look hard, search out, try to find a way to get involved and find that deal that is so life-changing, that makes you feel like, man, I've done something great. You take a five, seven, 10, 20, $30,000 hit on a house and it's just a powerful thing that you've got in your bank account and you look at your bank account and you see that money or you see that check that comes from closing, you're like, yeah, and you take a picture of the check. That's what we're talking about. We want you to find that deal and the way to find that deal is be aggressive and look for what is a deal and what is uh, going, going to happen. Listen, I'm going to go now and I hope this helped you a little bit on finding a deal that that you have to look for uh, the realtor's fees that you're going to pay. You have to look for the cost of things that you're going to, to um, have to fix. And then, of course, how much money do you want to make? You've got to decide that and then look at the deal. Remember, don't fall in love with the real estate. Don't want to hug the real estate. Just want to buy it and sell it and get the green. Hug the money. That's the way to go. Hope you'll uh, come back, I think, uh, just below here or uh, in maybe the email that was sent to you tells you how to get to video to, uh, to tell you where in the marketplace is the right place, and hopefully that'll help you also in your real estate career. This is Gary DeBose with the Deal Funders, and remember, we want to fund your deals.